There are a lot of factors which can impact your website's loading times, and using high resolution images is one of them. Let's take a look at six WordPress image optimization plugins that can ensure your site is quick to load. Number one, EWWW Image Optimizer. After installing and setting up, it'll automatically optimize any images you upload to your blog as long as they're either JPEG, PNG, or GIF files. It also includes a function to optimize your entire media catalog in case you already have a lot of images on your site. One of the advantages is that the optimization process takes place within your own servers by default, instead of connecting to a third party service. This means your optimization tasks will require less time, but it does also offer a cloud optimization feature if you prefer that. Number two, WP Smush. This is WPMU Dev's image optimization plugin, available in both free and premium formats. As is common with this sort of plugin, any image you upload to your WordPress site will automatically be optimized. The plugin also packs a bulk optimization option, which, as the name implies, enables you to tackle multiple tasks at once. This bulk option is only limited to 50 files at a time in the free version of the plugin. You can also optimize images individually by heading over to your media library, clicking on whichever file you want to compress, and clicking on the smush option on the attachment details window. This option can come in handy if for some reason you'd prefer not to use the bulk optimization option and have only a few images you'd like to compress. Its pro version includes a super smush option which allegedly cuts file sizes almost by half with a minimal loss of quality, but for the purposes of our video, we're going to stick to the free version of this plugin. Number 3. Short Pixel Image Optimizer Short Pixel not only scores well when it comes to compression, it also packs a nice interface. After installing and activating the plugin, every JPEG, PNG, and GIF you upload will automatically be optimized, but this plugin doesn't enable you to turn off this option at all, as most others do. Short Pixel enables you to choose between lossy and lossless compression methods, it optimizes all of the image thumbnails created by WordPress, it can establish a maximum resolution for your images, and best of all, it automatically saves a backup of every image you upload to a new folder. In order to set up the short pixel plugin, you'll be prompted to enter an API key during the activation process, which is provided for free by signing up. But you only get 100 image compressions per month, and credits for additional tasks can be purchased separately. Number 4. Tiny PNG Compress JPEG and PNG Images This one's a bit more drastic than the other plugins we've mentioned so far because it only employs lossy compression methods, which makes for a large reduction in file sizes while mostly preserving the quality of the images. The plugin doesn't offer many configuration options in its settings page since you can't modify the compression methods it uses. However, you can choose maximum resolutions for your uploaded images, pick exactly what sizes you want to compress, and whether or not to preserve the copyright information of each available file. Despite these limitations, tiny PNG images perform really well when it comes to the optimization process. Number 5. Optimus while Optimus performs admirably when it comes to the actual optimization process, the free version of this plugin includes a rather stifling 100 kilobyte file size cap on the images you can process, which essentially renders it a glorified demo. Generally, you're trying to get 100 kilobytes, not size it down even further, but it does work really well and it is simple, but it's basically a premium plugin. That being said, Optimus has a simple settings menu, which makes it a good choice if you're looking for sheer performance and you're not interested in fine-tuning the details of the optimization process. By default, Optimus will optimize images as they're uploaded, but it won't show the compression details. This plugin won't only optimize the files you upload, but also the multiple size images that WordPress automatically creates for these media files. Number 6. Imageify or Imagify or uh, Magafee. This is a newer go-to in the image optimization plugin scene, but it's made a name for itself because of how useful and simple the whole process is, as well as how many options you get from a free plugin. You can choose from three different settings for the optimization. Normal, Aggressive, and Ultra. Generally, Aggressive is a good spot where you can keep file size down without a noticeable dip in visual quality. As you move into Ultra Compression, there may be blurring, slight pixelation, color ratio loss, and minor artifacts in the images. You can individually optimize your library image by image, run a bulk optimization, and any images that you upload will be run through whatever default process you set up. And now it's time to put them to the test. 
So far we've covered each plugin's individual features as well as their pros and cons. Now it's time to see how they actually fare against each other when it comes to their intended purpose. I'll be using a test done from the original blog post linked in the description. To get the best possible results, lossy image optimization was used when possible. Keep in mind your mileage may vary depending on which particular image you choose to optimize and these findings should only be viewed as an example of how each plugin performs individually. First up, JPEG optimization. As we can see, the plugins which applied a lossy optimization method obtained roughly similar scores across the board. Due to its slight edge when it comes to the compression percentage, we're going to recommend you go with TinyPNG if you use mostly JPEG files on your site. EWWW comes rather close as well, but remember it has a slightly more complicated setup than some others. And now, PNG optimization. Short Pixel Image Optimizer took the lead with a slight advantage over the winners of the last section, once again with no noticeable reduction of the quality of the optimized images. Its only downside is that it limits you to a maximum of 100 images per month and you're required to purchase credits for any additional optimization tasks, same as the runner up, Mr. Tiny PNG over there. While optimizing your images won't make your site magically load in milliseconds, it is one of those things that show you take every detail into consideration. Even if the resources you save aren't substantial to you as far as bandwidth goes, visitors with slow connections will definitely be thankful for it. Just keep in mind if you want to tackle image optimization seriously for your own projects, we do recommend that you take the time to individually test some of our front runners to see for yourself just which plugin you prefer. So have you found different results with any of these image optimization plugins? Let us know in the comments section below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, be sure to subscribe. And with that said, we'll see you next time.